to have to be wrong about the light. Left wheel in and down. You can't land. You got no choice for having enough fuel to go around again or divert. <laughs> Can I get you a coffee? Oh, no, thanks. Arch Davis, Airjet Operations. Arch, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I haven't seen you around for a while. How have you been? Fine. Vacation? Something like that. I'm um, cruising through Europe for a couple of weeks. Uh, are you flying again? Ah, uh, no. Uh, I did heading to New York on the 206, if it ever gets here. Yeah, hasn't left Rome as far as I know. Ah. Uh, 5.34 out there came in late two hours, and they had to replace a computer chip. I've got 132 very tired and unhappy passengers right now who want to board. I'm sorry, Arch. On top of that, last week Airjet axed half the sales department here in London. Everybody's afraid they're next. Sorry, um, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Arch, it's all right. Look, um, I have to check the uh, manifest for customs, though. I'll see you around. Sure. See you later. Well, if it isn't Airjet's newest newlyweds. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Susan, Tracy. Hey, hi. This is Margot. It's her first international overnight. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. I've got to admit, seeing Boston even for days is going to be absolutely fabulous. Everything going smooth? Trying to keep everybody happy, which isn't easy right now. Oh, after we take off, I can get you seats up here. We're late tonight. It's OK. We'll be just fine back there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Well, if you need anything, you just let me know. Oh, we will. Can I see your boarding passes, please? <laughs> Hi, guys. Can I see your boarding passes? Yes, ma'am. Right down there and to your left. <laughs> Sorry. You're Ty Connor. Are you going to play soccer in the States this year? I'm not sure. Steve? Uh, we're working on it. D hey, do you guys want to change seats? You know, coach isn't that bad. Lots of peanuts. That was tempting as that sounds. Mm. No. Hi, dude. You're the best. Dude, you rock, man. Serious. They still know you after being out of the country for three years. We'll see. Americans don't love soccer. Before I'm through, it'll be bigger than baseball. I am gonna get you sponsors like you wouldn't ever believe. Cool. Bigger than baseball. Bigger than baseball. Stewardess. These are your first class seats? Yes, sir. My company's Gulfstream. 
has bigger seats. They are the industry's best first-class seats, sir. Most people seem to be able to fit into them quite comfortably. Is everything okay, Mr. Matthews? Considering you're two hours behind, not really, no. Who are you? I'm Katie Phillips, sir, the in-charge flight attendant on this trip. How can I help you? Well, I'm not used to taking wisecracks from stewardesses. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sure she didn't mean it that way. What can I do to make you more comfortable? Well, Katie, I would like a, a drink. Scotch soda. Well, we're just about to take off, but I'll see what I can do. And by the way, we're called flight attendants now. If you refer to us that way, I'm sure we'll respond much more quickly. Enjoy your trip. That guy's tray isn't in the upright and locked position. Be nice. We have a plane full of tired and angry passengers who've been sitting around for a long time. Oh, yeah. And don't try that oops, I spilled the wine bit on that guy, okay? I was thinking more like the pasta primavera. <laughs> um, could you please give this to our new friend? Watch your head. Hi. Ah, uh, Detective Muldoon. I'm Katie Phillips. I have a few rows reserved for you in the back so that you could have more room. I thought maybe you'd want to be away from the other passengers. Yeah, thank you. Just follow me. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Mr. Matthews, please take your seat. This man's a murderer. I'm not flying with him. Sit down, sir. He killed his wife and his partner. I am not. Stop! Hey, stop! Stop! Let go! Hey! Let go! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get back! Get back! <laughs> Sit down. Blythe. Look at me. Relax. Listen to me. This is going to be a long flight, okay? And they have a little ring back there attached to the floor. I can lock you to that if you want. Okay. Good. Come on. Let's go. Mr. Matthews, if you want to get off this plane, that's your choice. We have another flight tomorrow. Did you see what he did to me? Did did you see that? Buy a first-class ticket these days. You're the bad guy when you buy the first-class ticket. Boston needs to hold us here at the gate for a while. There's a storm over the Atlantic that's causing air traffic delays back in the United States. Thank you. Great. Katie here. Katie, it's Captain Ferguson. It looks like it's not our problem anymore. We're going off shift. Have a nice flight. Thank you. FAA regulations won't let this crew fly if their flying time exceeds their shift. Short story is, we've got to bring in a fresh crew. Hey, this isn't Boston. We don't keep any reserves here. I can't just pick up the phone and call someone in when you make the connection time so short. Well, I found a captain. All I need now is a first officer. Yeah, hang on. I think I've got someone. But uh, I'm going to need permission. Well, if you want this flight to get to Boston tonight, you're just going to have to wake up the boss. It's Mike Hogan. Yeah, that Mike Hogan. Won't latch. Sorry. Can I help you? Yeah, do you uh, have any more of those great peanuts? I think I can find some more. But you'll have to sit down. Anything for you. <laughs> Watch out. Next he'll tell you he's studying to be a doctor. <sighs> sit. Thank you. 
So you want me to be first officer? They cleared it at operations. Arch, I'm on administrative leave. And I'm saying you've got new orders. Look, uh, I know all about the investigation. You're lucky nobody was seriously injured. But this is a shot for you to get back in their good graces. Are you ready to go back, Mike? And you think being first officer is going to do that, huh? That's a start. One step at a time. I mean, you're all we've got. <laughs> That's a shame. Who's the captain? Jack Brooks. I don't know him. Um, came here from corporate flying. Got connections all the way to the top of the airline. Mm -hmm. Takes a good picture, too. Mm. Well, what do you say? You want a dead head back or take the front seat? Come on. Yeah, first, we've got to get you a uniform. Here we go, Jack. Captain Hogan, how are you today? Good, thanks. You have a great flight. Thank you very much. Mike Hogan. Uh-huh. How you doing? Take a seat. Okay. They've left us hours behind schedule, Hogan. I want to make up at least an hour. That's a lot of time to make up. Not with good pilots. I wouldn't recommend pushing it. Let's cut to the chase, Hogan. I read the brief on your crash landing in Boston last spring, and I know you're on leave. Mm -hmm. Now, I run a smooth ship. And this airline has one of the best on-time records in the industry. So we just do what I say, and we'll be fine. Got it? Got it. Good. Finish the pre-flight. Call me when you get clearance. Roger. Now, why am I doing this? Evening. Oh, Captain. Hello. Got any coffee there? Yes, sir. Um, how do you take it? Cream sugar. Anyone interesting in first? Uh, well, we have um, a soccer player and his agent, and some executive whose golf stream is in for repairs. What's his name? Cal Matthews. He owns a golf stream. Well, his company does. Hmm. And him back? Mostly tourists. Uh, but there's a detective who's bringing back that internet killer. You know, the guy who killed his wife? Hmm. Um, I put them, you know, away from the others. And one of our mechanics with his newlywed wife. <laughs> Just in case anything goes wrong. Nothing goes wrong on my flights. Thank you. What do you know about my co-pilot, Mike Hogan? Oh, I see something wrong. Ah, uh, no. Guys like that don't belong in this airline. Brings the average down. Um, Captain, you know, uh, the passengers are pretty angry. Maybe you should do a quick uh, goodwill run. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Want to get that? Right here. Perfect. I flew with him on the London to New York run. He's a real company man. Don't trust him. Are you okay? Yeah. Did he try and hit on you? He does that a lot. <laughs> no. Anyway, I can take care of myself. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, Captain Jack Brooks. I'm going to get you to Boston on time, sir. Really? Hey, you've got Air Jets Pilot of the Month. Wow. See, this is the kind of confidence I like, Captain Jack. Well, thank you, sir. Anything you need? No problem? One second. Would one of you please help Mr. Matthews? I'd like to help him out of the plane. 
Enjoy your flight. It's a nice article. Gentlemen, Captain Jack Brooks. Ty Connor. Nice to see you. How you doing? Over there. I want to apologize for the delay. We're going to make up that lost time. Sounds good. Good. Miss? Tracy. Tracy Nichols? Right. Tracy. You make sure these gentlemen get everything they want. Of course, Captain. Good. Enjoy your flight. Airjet 534, you're cleared to push back and taxi to runway 10 right and hold for takeoff. Captain, I'm with Airjet. I, I want... Captain Brooks? We got clearance. Great. All set. You boys want to leave us with a complete airplane down there? Uh, sorry, 534. We should check that out. Any warning lights? No. We got at least an hour to make up, Hogan. I trust the instruments. We're in line. Let's get the hell off the ground before someone else finds another excuse for us to wait. Got the meeting with Reebok. Day after tomorrow. You're gonna kill him. You don't like flying, do you? No. <laughs> you? Yeah. Of course, you take a few out of that, and the world is wonderful at 30,000 feet. Yeah, Tower said there's gonna be a few bumps going up. Should I let them know back there? I'll handle it. 
Good evening, this is Captain Jack Brooks. Pleased to have you all aboard Air Jet Atlantic Flight 534 to Boston. We're sorry for the delay. There might be a few bumps as we climb to altitude, so please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened. Once we get through the rough air, uh, your flight attendants will commence service. Thank you. What the hell was that? It's nothing, hey. No worries. We have a pressure leak. Where? It's gone. Here, let me run a pressure check. Nothing. Good. Once we get to 33,000, with a little luck and an extra push, we might make up that hour. Think that's a good idea? Captain. First officer. Yeah. You afraid of flying? Yeah, I can think of better things to do. I wouldn't worry about it. If anything happens, we all go down. Yes, Blythe, but you say you have nothing to lose. I, on the other hand, have the rest of my life. Yeah. How long have you been flying, Hogan? 16 years. Favorite plane? Lucky TriStar. Ooh, that's old technology. What do you think of these fly-by-wire planes? They're okay. As long as the wires are working. And the computer. <laughs> Our training covers that. Well, fly-by-wire, all we learn is what we need to know to fly it. We do not learn what we have to do if something goes wrong. With old planes, if something happened, you had a chance. You're gonna have to learn to embrace technology, Hogan. Otherwise, you're just gonna fade out. Yeah. Guess you're right. Boys will need some coffee. You want to take it in? <sighs> like I want a root canal. <laughs> You're not going to be able to hide for six hours. I mean, it's a big plane, but not that big. <laughs> Airjet 534, I'm First Officer Mike Hogan. Michael Hogan. Haven't heard your voice for a while. We're at heading 300. How are we looking, Mickey? A storm building up off Greenland. Afraid you'll get a bit of it before you reach the mainland. Otherwise, a moonless night, my son. Darker than a bartender's heart. Try and work out. Try and keep this business, okay? Okay. I am gonna head back. <laughs> So what's the story with old, uh, Lori boy here? Um, watch your back. Yeah, right, I already figured that one out. <laughs> you always were one step ahead, weren't you? I gotta get back. Katie. Well, did you survive? Barely. Katie, what really happened to Mike? I mean, I know he landed without go down and almost shredded the plane. Well, officially, Mike got blamed because he decided to land instead of diverting to an alternate airport. Unofficially? Unofficially, Mike took the fall because the airline was trying to cut back on fuel reserves. <sighs> anyway, he didn't have enough fuel to get to the alternate. They pushed him to make up time, so he'd run out of excess fuel. He had no choice. 
Mike got the blame, even though nobody got hurt. Margo said she heard the airline was going to retire him. Are you sure it's over between you two? Come on. John Wick, Airjet 534. Airjet 534, you are weak. How'd you read? Three by three. Looks like a storm's heading our way. Maintain course. If it gets too bad, climb to 380 and alter course as required and advise. Ought to be a little softer. Oh, well, the way I see this, by the time it hits, we'll be over airspace without radar. You and 12 other flights. <laughs> Lucky 13. Okie dokie. There will be a slight delay in food and beverage service until we've cleared this bit of turbulence. Which one of you is the prisoner? Cool. So what'd you do? I think you should go back to your seat now, pal. Yeah. That's charming. Music makes kids nuts. I'm getting old, no good. Three more years and I'm out. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? Well, uh, first of all, me and the wife, we're gonna... <laughs> you know what? This is gonna be a long flight. What do you say you and I don't spend a lot of time getting to know each other, okay? Hey. Hey, you know what? They got a prisoner back there. Carrie, come on, sit down. No, honest. What if he takes over the plane and flies us all to Algeria? Hey, Carrie, Carrie, we're feeling a little tense already. Could you sit, please? Man, I wonder no one ever believes me. I wonder. <laughs> Look, I uh, gotta make a little visit. Hey, right, let's go. Make it quick, okay? I'm not going anywhere, Muldoon. Yeah. Hurry up. Give me a break. We're done. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm coming. Come. Happy? Everything under control back there? <laughs> Funny man. I just want to be sure we're all safe and sound. You're really trying to blow your career, aren't you? <laughs> what career? Guys like you never learn. You don't fight the system, Hogan. You work within it. Mm-hmm. And what's that get you? Me. I'm going to run the pilot's union before I'm 50. Well, wow, congratulations. Thank you. Before you get there, I've got a big storm ahead. Now, Shannon recommends we climb to 38,000 feet. If we alter our course by 10 degrees, we get around the edge of that front. And lose our one hour window. Be a lot easier ride, man. I make up that lost time. Show me the chart. See, if we go south, we can skim along the storm's edge. Yeah, but the storm pattern is southward. By the time we get there, it could have extended a few hundred miles. Not if we get there on time. 
I think we're running out of time. Check it out. something and not just rough air the elevator controls are sluggish we've got to find a place to land like now we're over the middle of the atlantic mike i know that katie D don't be angry at me I'm... I'm not angry with you katie i'm sorry uh what can i do go back there and check the damage okay like like what like check the wings for structural damage anything katie uh what do we do with brooks we'll, we'll worry about him later Oh, Mike? Huh? Are we gonna be okay? I don't know right now, baby.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is acting Captain Mike Hogan. We're obviously having problems with the aircraft, so remain in your seats with your seat belts fastened. Listen to your flight attendants, and you can remove your masks and breathe freely in the cabin now. Let's go for it to see what happened. You stay here. Roger, I'm scared. We're flying level now. Level's good. Be back as quickly as I can. Maybe there's something I can do to help up there. Be careful. this plane. Go talk to him. Hey. Hey, no. no. No, 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 no. I want to know. We want to know. Put your hey. On. Okay. hey, give you any idea who I am? Yes, I do, Mr. Matthews. Now, if you don't let go of my arm so I can do my work, I'm going to have to restrain you. Now, sit down. Get in your seat. What are you looking at? Some information. That's all I want, is some information. You're okay. No, I'll help. No, it's all right. Listen, I actually am a pre-med student. I'm just in college right now, but my dad's a doctor, and I know enough first aid to help you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Hogan, I'm Roger Lee. I'm an airjet mechanic. Can I help? Roger, what do you know about flying planes? Nothing. I'm a ground tech. Great. Okay, look. Uh... Then get Captain Brooks home more comfortable, all right? Yes, sir. And after you're done with that, come back here. Tracy, do you have a medical kit? Yeah, I'll get it. Perfect. Tracy! Yeah. Captain Brooks has been knocked out. So Mike's flying the plane. He's got us pretty stabilized, but we've got to find a place to land soon. Land? Where? Mike will find a place. Just keep everybody calm. Well, that's all. Hey, you can do it. That's what we're trained for. Katie, I've never been in an Tracy, emergency. Tracy, I... listen to me. You'll be fine. Anybody can bring us in? Mike can. Okay, can you watch him? I'll go get some ice. I think I'll hold on to these for now. Trust me, you've got nowhere to go anyway. Got under control. I think he's all right. He's got a pulse. He's breathing. I see this kind of thing in my profession every game. A couple scratches, head injury. What's going on here? That's what we're trying to figure out, sir. There's a first aid kit back here. Hey. It's fine. Come Jack hit his head. Shanwick, this is air jet 534. We are declaring an emergency. 
I repeat, Shannon, Airjet 534, we have an emergency. Come on, damn it. Read you, Airjet 534. What's happening? We are seriously damaged and not sure of the cause. Damage through pressurization, controls not responding. The number two engine is stuck in idle. We are maintaining 10,000. Request vectors to nearest suitable airport. We must land immediately. What's your present position? Uh, not sure. Uh, just past last waypoint. Our present track is 270 degrees. Airjet 534, set a course for Keflavik International in Iceland. Turn right 010. You'll hit the edge of the storm. Can you make it? Uh, yeah. We're burning more fuel than we can afford down here at 10,000. Got no choice, I guess. These babies are not like to swim. I'll call Catholic for you now. Good luck, Mikey. Shang work out. Hello, sir. Tower. This is Shangwa Control. We have a declared emergency. Airjet 534 headed your way. Affirmative, Shangwa. Airjet 534, an emergency approach. So much for a quiet night. Okay, AG 534. Where are you? Mike. What you got? Um. Well, the wings are okay, and um, there's no real damage to any of the cabins. Passengers? Some cuts and bruises, and a uh, little dizziness, ear pain, things like that, but nothing life-threatening. Okay, good. Keep an eye on them. Katie, how you doing? I'm all right. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna get us a dry land. Airjet 534, this is Kevlovic Tower. Kevlovic, nice to hear ya. Anybody got an Airjet flight on the screens? Hey, hey. Airjet 534, I don't see you on my screen. Our current position is 240 miles south of you. Sorry about crashing the party. No problem, 534. Shamar, brief me on your condition. Any changes? I've got number two engine out of idle. How close are you to the storm? Close enough. You want to make me earn my money tonight, aren't you, 534? Looks that way. Okay, I'll get back to you with vectors and landing instructions. Don't get lost now. I promise. Airjet 534. Thanks. Second. Let me handle this. I don't this. trust you to fly solo, Hogan. Well, that doesn't account for much, does it? Huh? You want to help me? <laughs> Sit down. <clears throat> and be quiet. Mike! Give me something to restrain him. Come on, I... We don't have time to argue. Just do it. Help me. Hang on, Captain. Hold on, man. He's a handful. Okay, Mr. Connor, grab his hands. Give me 
something to fly with. Just one little something. Okay, that's where you want to play it. That'll work for me, sweetheart. Just don't give me any new surprises. They have the captain restrained. Roger, I think I have an open cargo door. Now I need to go down and check it out. This is acting Captain Mike Hogan. I just wanted to let everyone know that we are okay. We've got a cargo hold problem, and we're now heading for Keflavik International in Iceland, an hour and a half away, which at this time seems to be the nearest airport. Now, if anyone back there has a pilot's license, Please signal one of your flight attendants. Thank you. Are you sure this is okay? I know the pilot is flying the plane. Oh, you trust him? It's my life. Oh, well, I don't know about your life, lady, but I care about mine. Well, you know what? If he gets me down, he'll get you down, too. Now, I would want a drink. Uh, this is not the time, Mr. Matthews. Hey, hey. Sir, the lady said now is not the time. Okay. Hey. Don't touch me. Hey. I want a drink. Ah, uh, Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews. Ah. Uh. Where's the scotch? For what I paid for my ticket, I'm going to have a no, scotch. Stop, that's I'm that's gonna enough. have a scotch. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? If you go to your seat, I'll bring your scotch to you, okay? Please. Sorry. Go on. Mike asked for a pilot. For what it's worth, I have a pilot's license. I believe you have the key. Uh, hey, what's he doing up here? This doesn't concern you, Mr. Matthews. Should not be running around up here! Free! Look, Mr. Elite Club member, right now they need another pilot. And I'm it. So if I don't help out, this plane is not gonna make dry land. So when we do crash in the ocean, the last thing that's gonna matter is my freedom. So enjoy the rest of your flight. Say that? Okay, what do you know about flying planes? Uh, twin engine Comanches that'll fit in the luggage racks of this monster. Well, it's pretty much the same thing, just bigger engines. So, uh, what do you want me to do? I think I have a problem with the cargo door. So I have to go below and check it out. I need someone to stay up here and watch things. Uh, look, man, I, I don't know about discuss this. Discuss it? You got no choice. Have a seat. 
Okay, it's on autopilot, so don't touch this, do not touch that. Hold your hands right there. If right. that gets uneven, call me, all right? Okay. All right. Says screwdrivers. One for you, one for me. Done. Cool. Okay. Here we go. Got it. Better than that, when it's working. and decided a new course. Hey, what about manual? Computer can't override it in certain instances. Fly by wire, huh, Captain? We're heading into the storm. What do we do? Can this thing fly without a computer? Nobody knows for sure. It should. Then we got nothing to lose, right? What have you got in mind? I know computers. A little or a lot? A lot. Up until recently. Well, oh, there's your keyboard right there. Set it for Boston. Wait for the storm. Chain it to Keplovic. Here's your flight plan. It won't let me enter any data for the set course. Try it again, flight. I am, Hogan. What do I care if this plane and everyone on it drops to the Atlantic? They just think I'm a ruthless killer anyway. Right now, we're all on the same on this plane. And all that matters is doing what's right. So you remember what's right, don't you? Help me, Blight. I need you. I'm gonna secure the cabin. Come on, Blake. Come on! I bet you they kept the big coordinates. I just need that damn computer to accept them. What have you got? No luck. I've tried everything I know. Try it again. It's not going to make any difference, Hogan. It could make a difference. Try it again. All right, all right. It's turning. It's working. Good job. So are we okay now? Better than before. But the computer's out, and so is autopilot. Can't you lie to me for old time's sake? Yeah, we're gonna make it there right on time, and the beaches in Iceland are sunny and warm. A smaller line would do. Hey, Roger. Yes, sir. I'm gonna need you to go down there and block that hole. It's slowing us down, and we're burning up too much fuel. Life, I want you to go with him. Okay, look, Hogan. 
Before I do this incredibly stupid thing, what are our chances of making it to Keflavik? Why, are you in a hurry? No. Well, our chances are not that good without the hole being blocked. Okay? All right, let's do it. Get these off of me. I can't do that, sir. By whose orders? Acting Captain Hogan. But I'm the captain. Our flight manual clearly states that when the captain is incapacitated, the first officer becomes acting captain. But I'm okay. Look at me. Let me go. somebody down the cargo hold. The door blew open and the hole needs to be blocked. Oh, oh yeah, right. And this is something we should be doing. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Count me in. You don't have to do this. No, I do have to. Ty, I can't let you do this. We're wasting time. I'm in. Ty. Um, it's gonna be very cold down there. Do you have a jacket? Yep. Ty? Lead the way.
to the side down. There's a hole the size of a Volkswagen in the plane. We're in the middle of a storm, and the pilot crashed on his last flight. <sighs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Katie. Uh, it's okay. I'm sure Hogan's a great pilot. I, uh, Look, our relationship was over a long time ago. What happened? Oh. <sighs> you ever heard of a pilot and a flight attendant making it all the way? <laughs> I guess not. I thought we were gonna be different. I actually started thinking about family. Right after the accident, you know, we changed and he started to withdraw. And one day he just left. You know, I hadn't seen or talked to him till tonight. I'm sorry. Ah. But it was good. It was really, really good. <laughs> Isn't that what we all want? <laughs> What's the difference between a flight attendant and a jet engine? I know that one. <laughs> when the flight's over, the jet engine stops, stops whining. <laughs> Jet 534, you should be 140 miles south. What's your speed? Careful, Vic. 534 at 250 knots. Any faster, and we could sustain greater structural damage. Air Jet 534, estimate your touchdown in a little over 30 minutes. What are your fuel reserves? Well, we're burning more fuel than expected with this hole on our side. It's gonna be close. Airjet 534, optimeter setting is 1017 millibars. 17. Airjet 534, can you make a standard rate of descent? Negative, gonna have to be slower. We are not pressurized. What about turns? Same thing, slower. Have you got enough runway for me? Two miles, it should be plenty. Visibility is good and the clouds are clearing here. Two miles is good. Come on, baby. You can do it. Are we going to get through this? It'd help to get that hole blocked. And if not? Let's just take it as it comes, Katie.
It's helping. We've reduced drag enough to give me more control. What about Blythe? Well, he took a chance and he paid with his life. But he gave us one more shot. Yeah, well, what if it doesn't help us? And that'll be my fault. Okay, guys, get back to your seat. I'll call if you need any help. Hey, guys. Thanks. One and one more chance, well, my guy died to give it to you. Let's see what you can do with your one more chance. Ladies and gentlemen, we should be landing shortly. We're going to have to land without full use of aerodynamics, which means it could be a little rough. Please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened, and your flight attendants will explain emergency landing procedures. Thank you very much. OK, please pay careful attention to what we say. Secure any loose objects such as pens and glasses. Ladies, remove your high-heeled shoes and stow them in the seat pocket in front of you. Keplovec to Airjet 534, I've got you on my screen. Welcome to Iceland airspace. Keplovec, good to be here. 534, what's your name? Mike. Pleased to meet you, Mike. I'm Sarah. Now that we're old friends, let's get you down on the ground. What's your rate of descent? 200 feet per minute. OK, Mike, what's your heading? 010, zero, zero, assign. Good. I want you to begin to bank left on the heading of 230. Roger, turn left, 230. You've got time, so don't rush. I want you to descend to 5,000. Do it by myself with everything out and an extra pair of hands. Yeah, what about Roger? He Roger's with his wife. That's where he should be. Katie, you're the only one I trust. Oh, man, tell me. Sit down. Hey. Sit down, Katie. Mike, I am going to give you lots of approach. Active is runway 02. It's lit up full strength. And you're going to have to listen to me real close. You Sarah, meet Katie. She'll handle radio contact while I play with the engines. We are at 5,000. Okay, Katie, I want you to descend to 3,000. 3,000, right there. Um, descending. East-West. Sarah, we need another runway, something facing east-west. We've got runway 29, but you'll get crosswinds. Right now, we got no choice. But if you miss? If we miss, we're not going to get another chance. I can't turn this thing around that sharp. OK. 534, descend to 1,000, maintain course, and reduce speed to 180 knots. Confirmed. Confirmed. 
Okay. Okay. Tell them to prepare for a crash landing. Flight attendants, please prepare passengers for an emergency landing. She could use the company. Flight three four, you're about fifteen miles from the outer marker. Maintain one thousand feet. We're not descending fast enough. Sarah, we're not descending fast enough. We're at seventeen hundred. You've got to, otherwise you'll overshoot the runway. We can't. You have to, Mike. I can't. Oh, yes, you can. You brought us this far. This is where it gets tricky. I can make that turn, but when you are landing, you're down at the same time, and I need you to give me 25 on the flaps for landing. You got it? Uh, Mike, I don't know how to do that. Okay, watch the little plane right there on the horizon. Did you hear me? Yeah. Okay, to the left, that lever there, raise it five degrees. If you don't worry, you'll hear the flaps, and the landing gear lever is right there in the middle. Got it? Katie, you got it? Yes, okay. yes. When I say go. Katie, where are you guys? We're here. Busy as heck. Understand. Repeat. Course heading is 290. Speed at 180 knots. <laughs> you should see the lights any time now. Here we come. Get ready with the landing gear. Ready. Here we go. flying the plane anymore. Now please fasten your seatbelts. If you're approaching the outer market inbound, wind is 360 at 25 knots. You are clear to land. Never thought I'd love those three words so much. We're not there yet. Landing gear! Mike! Crosswind. Hold on, Katie. Uh fast, but we got two miles to stop. You sure? Not the time to ask, baby. Let's do it. Give me the rates of descent. 900. I got it. 
me up when we get to the gate. Thanks for flying here, Jed Atlantic. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get him off the plane. Hey, Katie. You did good. So did you. Great team back there, huh? Besides, how often are you in Iceland? Okay, okay. Now go. By the way, I'm Sam. Tracy. I know. <laughs> thank you, Roger. You can thank Blythe. Yeah. Take care of both of you. So who would have figured that guy would do what he did? I guess you never can really know somebody, can you? Well, thanks. Bye-bye, detective. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry. Watch your step. 